Meet the Eagles is brought to you by Core Credit Union, a better way of banking. Ironhead Gallon, junior, linebacker, Georgia Southern Eagles. We got to start this one off. Explain your nickname to us. Uh, Ironhead. <laughs> well, it's a name my dad gave me growing up. And, you know, just started playing football and everything. Hitting folks hard, so it's someone stuck to me. Is that to tell us that you have a hard head, literally, or <laughs> just you're hard headed, or what? I had a few stories growing up saying I was kind of hard headed and everything, but now, related to football, just hard hitting. Take us through uh, your decision to come to Georgia Southern. First, I ain't know nothing about Georgia Southern at all until I got the offer. You know, did a lot of research, and then finally came off came on my official visit. That was during Coach Munkin, um time with the staff and everything. And, um, you know, just got a chance to um, meet the team, hang out with the team and everything, and I just fell in love with Georgia Southern. Here in Statesboro, it reminded me of back home in Madison County, and you know, it's just a good feeling to be to be at a place that loves football. So. Since you've been here, you moved from FCS to FBS. You've moved into the Sun Belt. You have a new head coach. A lot of different things. How has that transition been for you? Well, the transition been pretty good. Just give everybody a chance to to step it up a little bit. You know, got a clean slate. You know, going to the FBS. Nobody know what we bring to the table. And also for the coaching staff, you know, just learning what each player have to bring to the table is just like another level for each person on the team. So it allowed us to go out here and just show the coaches what we had and show the nation what we had when we came up to the FBS. Me, myself, personally, I just play for God. You know, I just try to go all out for God and just show everybody that, you know, he's able to help you fight through adversity at all times. You know, Sunback Conference, we got a lot of good teams in this conference. So, you know, with us, you know, going to our second year into the conference, I feel like we, we learned a lot more about each team compared to last year. So, I mean, there's going to be some rivalries down the road. <laughs> I would imagine the biggest one has to be Appalachian State. You yes. guys get geared up a little more when you see those guys coming up on the schedule. Oh, yeah, Appalachian State, that's an old rival from back in the FCA, FCS days. So, you know, you got to love them guys. I mean, you got to love competing against them guys. You've had to wait your turn. You know, how, how do you feel like your progress has been? Well, myself personally, I feel like my progress has gotten a lot better opposed to my first move, you know, just learning the defense a lot more this year, you know, just learning to use the smaller things as far as my technique to become a better player out there on the field. You've also become pretty good on special teams as well. Do you enjoy that aspect? Yes, sir. I love special teams. I mean, special teams are one of the most important spots on the, on the team. Like Coach Fritz always say, he plays his best players that can run and hit on special teams. So, got to love it. You guys have had a couple block punts the past couple of weeks. What does that do for a team? Uh, momentum. You know, special teams a big momentum builder. So, you know, blocking punts gives the offense momentum going into their drive. So, how do you feel about this team this year, and how far do you think you guys can go? Well, I feel like we can go all the way. This year, we, I feel like we're a step further than where we were last year. You know, everybody. Gotta understand that now we're in the FBS. Now every week we're gonna go out to go out here and compete to our best abilities day in, day out. So I really feel like we can go all the way. 